What's up everybody, Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water. So if you saw our last vi video with Randy Tao, I promise you when I talked him into actually showing you guys how to build a custom rod from scratch from start to finish. So here we are, we're in the back room where he makes his magic. This is where the donuts get made. It all goes down right here. Captain Randy Tao, custom rod building. So Randy, custom rod building. I'm sure a lot of these guys are gonna be fascinated by how it works. So if we could start by first just explaining the components that go into putting the rod together. And then next, obviously, would love to take them through step one until the final step of building the rod. Sure. What we're gonna do, we're gonna build a backcountry tarpon rod. Okay. We've got our EVA grips. This is our butt grip, which okay. is longer, 12 inches. This is our foregrip, eight inches. This is gonna be our reel seat. Fuji number 22 hooded reel seat. So this this grip here goes below the reel. Correct. This grip is above the reel, yep. and that's your reel seat. Gotcha. So to get started, what I do is first, I have a mark where everything's gonna go, but I make the blank, I rough it up. So I scrape into the blank so that the glue has something to stick to. Makes sense. A lot of people that build rods, let me tell you, I could have already had this grip on if I would have taken a little lacquer thinner, put it on there, slid it right down, it'd stay in place for about six months, and then it would turn to, on the rod. I've seen that. Because and, there's and nothing back bonding to our it. Previous video with a lot of your more economical rods. Exactly. Okay. So I, I roughen everything up with a file. And I get it so that you're not gouging into the graphite, you're just making something for the glue to stick to. So I'll do this the entire way. What's the next step? I'm gonna take my two-part epoxy, which I use this Fastco glue. So in order to get this from point A to point B, it's not going without some lubrication, which we're gonna use our glue for. So you can see the grip goes down about that far. So you know you gotta get your glue up in here to get started, because you want the glue under the grip so that it'll slide. So we're gonna take our glue, and we're gonna put it on the rod, and we're gonna work it down, and we're gonna cover this whole area with glue. Remember, if this is dry, if you have a dry spot when you're pushing this thing down, the brakes come on quickly. All right, so I, I move the grip around, and as I do that, I'm sliding it down. So I'm getting further down the rod, but I'm also making sure that this glue is under this grip. So when I go to push it, it now, goes. I, I notice you're spinning it as opposed to sliding it. Is there a reason for that? Because I've never seen this before. If you slide it, you're gonna have a dry spot. Aha, uh -huh. okay. If you spin it, you're gonna get it evenly mm -hmm. okay. throughout the under the grip. Okay. So the idea is to get it to get it lubricated and now to push it down. Hopefully it all goes right. Okay. So pretty easy, right? Mainly because of having enough glue under this grip. All right. So Jamie, we're going to put the real seat on. Here's a really good trick. Before you put this on, take your tape and tape over your threads, just like this. Why? Because when you glue this in place, without it, you're gonna have a mess of glue in the threads of your reel seat. Mm. And you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to pick it out in between okay. the threads. Gotcha. So just that little tip is gonna help you. We're gonna slide it down. We specialize in tips here at Fish Blue Water. Exactly. So. Okay, so there's where your reel seat's gonna go. 
And what I would do is I would make a little mark. I'll use my razor blade right here and I'll just mark where the front part of that's going to be, which is right here. Remember, the tape is not what is holding your reel seat together. The tape acts as a bushing to center the reel seat on the rod, and your glue is your strength. That's okay. what's keeping your reel seat on. And again, remember, we roughed up the blank. So we have this roughed up for the glue to bond to the blank and to that reel seat. Your glue, here again, is critical that I put it in front of the tape and I make sure that it gets in the back of the tape. And you're wanting to make this cavity here. Can I spin this so I feel like I'm doing something? Um, it makes me a custom rod builder. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See, first time a virgin, second time an expert. So we put our glue on, okay? Now, as I put the real seat on, I'm kind of working it in. I'm not just shoving it on because the faster you push this thing on, the more air you're going to have in it. So I push it a little bit more, and I make sure that each time it slides down that my glue is solid, that there's no air that I'm leaving. Okay. So I kind of take a little bit of time with it. So now what we talked about earlier with this piece of tape, right? So I can wipe it off with a paper towel. Now take my tape off and look. Voila, beautiful. I don't have much to clean up. Okay. All right, so I put my, put my glue on. And this you don't have to go too crazy because I had already made this hole a little bit bigger to make this easier. All right, so Jamie, we went through the building process. We roughed up the blank. Bottom side of the rod's done. Bottom side's done. We put the grip on, we got the reel seat on, we got the foregrip on. Okay. Now you asked a question about where does this reel seat live? Exactly. Where should it be in the relation to the bend of the rod? And the answer is all rods have a spline. Okay. And the spline is the natural curvature of the rod. So in layman's terms, the spline tells you the natural way the rod wants to bend. Correct. And how you need to place the guides and the reel seat accordingly. So here's, here's how it works. Okay. When I bend the rod like this, you can see right now it doesn't want to go left or right. It's locked in. Okay. And when I turn it, it jumps back uh -huh. to that same spot. Gotcha. So this is the happy place for this rod to bend. And it's important that if you're building a spinning rod versus a conventional, it's opposite. Right. Okay, so your reel seat either goes on the top or on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So now that we have this, I will turn the grips tomorrow on my metal lathe there. I'll insert it and I'll make the grips look nice and pretty. Okay. But what we'll do is we'll wrap, we'll wrap a guide on. I'll show you how you actually put a guide on a rod. I'd love to see that. All right, so you see I have a couple of trims on there. I'm going to put my, uh, my working shades on so I can see the detail because this thread's not very big you're working with small things. So to get started, you go around the rod two times. Okay. And as you can see, you pull it down, mm -hmm. it tightens everything up. Okay. You have to go over top so that that tag is locked in. Otherwise, it comes loose. that's what happens. If you go one time, that's what happens. Okay. So, so twice around. I go twice to make it easy so that it holds and I put a little pressure on it so it stays. Now, as I'm turning the rod, I'm just having each turn, I use my razor blade to cut the tag off. Okay. Each turn, you're just laying beside each other. So as you turn, you're trying to keep it all level and straight. What you're trying to avoid is this. Overlapping, yeah. You know, this is how some people go. <laughs> and sometimes they just cover the tape up and they epoxy it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I've seen all kinds of stuff. I am not like that. So I work on getting it wrapped up the foot of the guide. Mm -hmm. Now I'm up far enough that the guide's being held by the thread, so I can take that off. I'm going to continue. Now I have a little trick. When I go to the side and I pull it, I'm pushing the thread together. So there's no little 
little micro voids. Right. You can see some of that stuff now. And I, and I have to be honest, I've seen plenty of rods where when you look at the epoxy on top of the, the threads on the guides, you can see that the threads are not tight. No, because most people, again, it's a race. How fast can I wrap up mm -hmm. the side of that guide and get it done? All right, what are you doing right now? Because you just took okay. something in there. So this, this is your tag. This uh -huh. little piece is a piece of 10 pound braid mm -hmm. and I just make it into a loop. And that loop is what is gonna pull my tag in under my wrap to finish it. Okay. So I'm gonna go around four or five times and then I use my finger. It's very important that your fingers and your hands work together. You see, I can use it to cut mm -hmm. with the razor blade. Put your tag in, mm -hmm. in the loop. So now when I pull it, it's gonna go underneath. That's gonna finish my wrap. Mm -hmm. Now, I've gotta cut that tag, right? Okay. So when I pull it over a little bit, see that little space I just made? Yep, I see it. Okay, well when I go to cut it off, guess what? I'm not gonna cut into the rest of the thread because I made that little gap. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is take my little tool here and push it together. Nobody knows nothing. Gotcha. All right, guys, so once again, uh, this is Captain Randy Tao, Island Marotta, Florida, world famous fisherman, been building custom rods right here in this shop and in Island Marotta for almost the past 50 years. So location-wise, if somebody wanted to come see you, whereabouts are we in Island Marotta? This is, this is in Tavernier. If we go over the bridge, we're okay. in Island Marotta. Um, Tavernier, mile marker 92. If I'm not on the water, I'm right here. Seven Perfect. days a week. Awesome. Well, again, you are a true craftsman at what you do. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you for uh, your contributions with those custom rods for the Sailfish Series. We'll be seeing you and the Angler Management crew uh, at the Sailfish Challenge That's here in right. a couple weeks. And we hope you guys uh, enjoyed the, uh, the rod building process and uh, maybe you feel like you've uh, learned enough to give it a crack yourself. And if not, this guy's the expert. So until next time. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The only thing that we could ask is that you just help us grow the channel. We want to reach more people. Uh, we're excited to bring these new videos every week on Thursdays for you guys. So make sure you tune in, check your notifications. Hey, if there's something specific you'd like us to cover, something you want to learn or something you want to see, hit us up. Throw a comment on one of the videos or you can reach us at info at bluewatermovements.com. But until the next time, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday at Fish Blue Water.